This video will look to explain how the electron transport chain works. The electron transport chain is found on the inner membrane of the uh, mitochondria. Um, it's involved in the final stage of aerobic respiration, which is called oxidative phosphorylation. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're adding a phosphate group to ADP to make ATP, and as this happens in the presence of oxygen, it's called oxidative phosphorylation. Uh, for this process to happen, we need oxygen, we need the reduced NAD and FAD, which come from the earlier stages of aerobic respiration, and the electron carriers, cytochromes, which are proteins, and it's together these proteins, they form what's called the electron transport chain. Uh, the image on the screen uh, shows the inner membrane of the mitochondria, that's across the middle. Uh, so on the one side of the membrane you have the intermembrane space, and on the other the matrix. Embedded in the membrane are electron carriers which are proteins and they're sometimes called cytochromes. On the right hand side you have ATP synthase which is an enzyme. So how does it all work? Well the uh, reduced NAD and FAD which um, arrive bringing the hydrogens from the earlier stages of aerobic respiration, uh, they drop off their hydrogen atoms which split into hydrogen ions and electrons. Now the NAD and FAD, okay, which are now oxidized, okay, will return to the earlier stages of aerobic respiration. Uh, the electrons uh, are passed to the electron carriers, these proteins in the membrane, and they're passed from one protein to the next. And as they, uh, they are moved from one uh, protein to the next, these proteins take some of the energy that the electrons have and they use it to pump hydrogen ions across the membrane from the matrix into the intermembrane space. And so setting up um, a proton or hydrogen ion concentration gradient. All right, the electrons, okay, uh, we cannot leave them uh, in, the, in the electron transport chain. So they are combined with hydrogen ions to make hydrogen atoms. Also, an oxygen atom okay, is used, and the two hydrogen atoms and one of the oxygen atoms will be joined together to form water, which is one of the products of uh, aerobic respiration. And so, we have a uh, hydrogen ion concentration gradient. We've got a high concentration of hydrogen ions in the intermembrane space and a low concentration in the matrix. They want to diffuse down their concentration gradient, uh, but the only way they can pass through the membrane is by going through ATP synthase there on the right. So, uh, the hydrogen ions, they will diffuse through uh, ATP synthase, and the force of these molecules moving through the enzyme is used by the enzyme to join ADP and uh, a phosphate group, forming ATP.